Are you new to online teaching? Then I have five useful tips for you. As we know, the PowerPoint lecture is always exciting for the student. It is a teacher-centric tool, good for the sage on the stage. If you do the same thing on the online, the students are going to enjoy it. Change your pedagogy. That is student-centered education. Here the students are the in charge of the learning and the teacher is just a guide. And what should a guide do? The guide should develop a clear lesson plan based on what the students know already and where they should be after learning the lesson and how they will achieve it. Teacher should identify appropriate learning resources that are easy for the students to self-learn. If it is not available, the teacher should create such resources. Teacher should actively monitor the students for their progress. Number two, create engaging learning content. It could be a video or an infographic, an image or an animation or any of these things. Each lecture should be divided into chunks of knowledge and should be delivered on a suitable way. This concept is called as micro learning. Most successful online teachers create learning modules for this. Engage the student in multiple places, not only on the LMS but also on the other media, especially on their mobile by a notification because that is where the students will be and that is how you will be able to engage them. Be available to bridge the gaps. Whenever the student have a problem, be available to help. That doesn't mean you should be available 24 into 7, but at the same time, don't be annoyed by a WhatsApp notification at an odd time. If you don't want to get disturbed, turn off your mobile notifications, but don't discourage the students from sending a query because Online learning is about anytime, anywhere, and any device. Number four, be ready to learn new things. Rather than using a single methodology for all your lectures, which will be monotonous, try to experiment new technology. You should actively discuss and learn from your colleagues, and you should also get the support from trailblazers and innovators. Leave a positive digital footprint, which means create a quality content which will post and share online, and ready to learn and learn and relearn. Number five, take the student feedback seriously. We may be new to technology, but our students are not. Most of them are digital natives, so their opinion matters. And there is no one size fits all solution in online teaching. So find out what works for you and what not. And use the reviews to improve the situation. Just because the situation is bad, doesn't mean the education has to suffer. Because we have a solution for that. Thanks for watching.